Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be restoring and customizing this little Corgi Juniors Whiz Wheels Hot Rod V Dub. Looks more like a dragster to me, but anyway, these were produced from 1971 until 1973. That looks like somebody's had quite a bit of fun repainting this one. Some felt tips, I guess, and a silver marker. They've made it into the Red Baron. Actually done a fairly decent job, considering. So you can see none of the models really damaged under all of that. It's actually a nice solid metal base on it. It's going to need a jolly good clean up. Right, so we'll crack on and take it apart. There's two posts to drill out. And then I can pop the base off and take it all apart. It's got the wire suspension there. Here's the interior. It's a little bit stuck with the silver paint, so I'll be careful taking it out. And I tried to press the windscreen out, but that was just stuck in too much with the silver paint. So I'll use some caustic soda to loosen that up. I'll pop the wheels and axles out from under the suspension. And here I've just got a glass jar with some hot water in it, a spoonful of caustic soda. I'll just pop my parts in there. Then I'll give them a good rinse off. Here is the body. I can pop that windscreen out of there now. There's the chrome has come off of the interior there. Most of the paint's come off the windscreen and all of that silver paint has come off the body here revealing the original paint is almost untouched including the stickers. So next I use some paint stripper to strip the rest of the paint off of the castings. It's actually right at the end of my can of paint stripper and it had gone all thick and I had to buy some new stuff. So here they are after paint stripping. That black paint on the base was actually really tough. But I got rid of the remainder of it. And the wire brush on my Dremel. And here are the two castings after cleaning up. There are a couple of flaws on the car body, there's a little lump on the roof there and some quite noticeable casting lines on the front fenders. So I use a needle file and some sandpaper to tidy those up. And here's our car body casting ready for some paint. I start out with a coat of black. Next I masked off the rear of the car. Then I hit the front with a couple of coats of chrome. And then over the top of this I painted fluoro green. Here it is after I've removed the masking. Now 
Next I went to Photoshop and I designed some decals to go onto my beetle, a mad bug and some skulls with helmets on them there, and some little hella headlight covers. So I printed those out on some clear decal paper. I'll just apply them onto the model. Onto the interior now. Here it is after I've stripped the chrome off with the caustic soda. And I hit it with a coat of black. And I'm just going to use some silver weathering powder to detail the engine parts on the front and the rear. And yes, this little beetle does have an engine on the front and on the rear. I hit the base with some black as well and I use the same weathering powder just to detail the pipes on the side and the rear. The windscreen had a few scraps of paint still on it and I used a pick to scrape them off carefully. Next, I use some 1200 grit sandpaper. Get rid of the remaining paint as best I could and clean up the scratches on the windows. Then I finished off with some plastic polish. Gave it a really good buffing. And this was how it came out. I think that's looking quite a bit better. And finally, here were the old wheels. All covered with the silver paint. I'm going to be getting rid of them and replacing them with these nice aftermarket ones. Okay, so here's all the parts of our little hot rod V-Dub by Corgi, refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. So while I'm reassembling that, let's just take a look back and be reminded of what we started with. Our little Corgi V-Dub dragster slathered all over with silver paint and rebranded as the Red Baron. But it's a bit scruffy for us, so let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our finished, restored and customised Corgi Whiz Wheels Hot Rod V-Dub. Or oh, V-Dub Beetle Dragster, I think it looks more like. That's crazy two motors. Who knows what was going on when they designed that. So it's been fully stripped down and tidied up, repainted with that cool black and fluoro green. I think it really pops. It's got some nice new graphics on it. And of course those cool aftermarket wheels. So you can let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, a massive thanks goes out to my Patreon supporters. Thanks heaps for supporting the show. If you'd like to help out as well, check out the links in the description down below. Thanks heaps for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see more similar stuff, remember to subscribe, check out my channel, and give the video a like. And I'll catch you in the next one.